Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingedeli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a June exam revision booklet that basically consists of questions from previous question papers. This is from your Term 1 and Term 2 content. Term 1, we are talking about photosynthesis, cellular respiration, microorganisms, interactions and interdependence that's your food chains food webs um uh ecological pyramids then the matter and materials that's term two we talk about elements the periodic table of elements chemical reactions particle model of um, matter and so forth and so on in this particular video we are going to be answering multiple choice questions there's 10 of them and five terminology questions so um, I need you to answer the questions with me and let me know in the comment section how many you got correct. Okay, so one, 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 the most important source of light and heat on earth is what? What's the correct option? Is it oil, electricity, the sun or volcanoes? Okay, so the correct answer, we know it's the sun. So the most important source of light and heat on earth is definitely the sun because we receive light from the sun we also receive heat so that's light energy heat energy and we use radiant energy also um, for photosynthesis okay one one two the products of photosynthesis are is it glucose and oxygen carbon dioxide and what's that glucose and carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide and oxygen the correct answer is obviously a the products of photosynthesis is glucose, which is the sugar that is produced, and oxygen that is the byproduct. That's the guess. Okay, these two are requirements. So this one is obviously incorrect because it has the product and the requirement. This is the requirement and the product. So the correct answer, sorry guys, it's A. Then 113, ecology is what? Is it a combination of all ecosystems? Is it the study of the interactions of organisms with each other in their physical and chemical environment? Is it a community of animals, plants, and people? Or is it a group of people that stay in one place that has a specific common characteristic? So ecology from the word logi, that's telling us that's the study of something. So the correct answer will be B. That is definitely the study of interactions of organisms with each other. So living organisms interact with each other, guys. Um, and also they interact with their environment. So a plant will interact with the animal and also a plant will interact with the environment. That is your water, um, that is your soil in order for it to grow and receive nutrients. Okay. So 114, the following is an example of a biotic component of an ecosystem. So we need to remind ourselves that when we talk about a biotic component, we are talking about living organisms, right? So we have living uh, organisms and non-living components or factors, right? So which of the following that you're given, the four options, is an example of a living component or a living factor or a biotic factor. Uh, grassland, heat, wind, a clean cement stem that contains only water. Okay, so the correct answer will obviously be D, grassland. So that's the correct option. So these are plants. Grassland will contain grass. That's obviously a plant that is able to photosynthesize. That's a living organism. 115, the following is not an example of a microorganism, not an example of a microorganism. Virus, mushroom, bacteria, uh, protista are our options. The one that is not an example of a microorganism is the mushroom. Okay, that's 115. Let us move to 116. 116 atoms consist of what? Do they consist of elements and compounds? Do they consist of neutrons, electrons, and compounds? Protons, electrons, and neutrons, or elements, compounds, neutrons, electrons, and protons? The correct answer for 116 is option C. Atoms consist of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Positively charged. Um, the electrons ones are obviously negatively charged 
and neutrons are neutral. The following particles are found in the nucleus. The following particles are found in the nucleus of an atom. Uh, is it neutrons, neutrons, sorry, and electrons, neutrons, elements, and electrons, protons, and neutrons, protons, electrons, and neutrons. In the nucleus, guys, we find protons and neutrons. So the correct option is C. 118. The melting point of element X is 25 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of the same element, which is as element X, is 70 degrees Celsius. At 30 degrees Celsius, the element is a what? Okay, let's break it down. The melting point, 25 degrees Celsius. The boiling point, 70 degrees Celsius. So at 30 degrees Celsius, is the element a solid, a liquid, gas, or a vapor? It will be a gas. Okay. 119. Um, in which of the following substances will the distances between the particles inside the substance be the greatest? All substances shown have the same volume. In which of the following substances will the distances, so it's the distances between the particles. Okay, that's what, that's what we're focusing on. The distances between the particles inside the substance be the greatest. All substances have the same volume. Um, iron block, a square container filled with water. So that's going to be a liquid, obviously. Iron block. Um, but a solid. Um, a square container filled with air. A square container filled with sand. The correct answer will be uh, option C because this container is filled with air. So the distance will be great greater in terms of the, um, the distance between particles, guys, sorry. Okay, um, we're done with multiple choice. Oh, no, there's a last question, last question, last question. The reactants in a chemical reactions are all the substances that appear in the solid phase or the new substances that are formed, all the substances that are involved, or all the substances that react with each other. So the reactants is definitely all the substances that react with each other in order to form a product in a chemical reaction. Okay, so that's the end of um, multiple choice. We now have five terminology questions. Remember guys that you can pause the video and then um, answer the terminology questions and obviously play the video when you're done to check if your answers are correct. And please indicate um, in the comment section how many answers you got correct. Okay. So with terminology, you need to give one word or term for each of the following statements. Write down only the word or the term next to the question number. Okay. So one to one, the process whereby energy is released. The process whereby energy is released from food through a range of chemical reactions. That is cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. This is where glucose, um, I'm just explaining cellular respiration by writing down the formula. So this is where glucose um, reacts with oxygen or is broken down by oxygen through a series of chemical reactions. And in those reactions, enzymes are also um, involved. These are organic catalysts in order to produce energy, which is actually ATP energy. Um, carbon dioxide becomes a product also together with water. That is cellular respiration. So the process whereby energy is released, there is the energy from food, there is the food which is glucose through a range of chemical reactions. So this oxygen will be used obviously to break down the glucose. Reactions will take place in order for you to also have uh, carbon dioxide and water. The term used, sorry guys, the term used for the various stages in the food chain. The various stages in the food chain, that would be the trophic levels. 
living objects that are too small to view with the naked eye. They are very small for us to be able to view them with the naked eye and can only be observed through a microscope. Can only be observed through a microscope. We know this one, guys. That is microorganism. Positively charged particles in the nucleus of an atom. Positively charged particles in the nucleus of an atom. We know this one, guys. That is your proton. Mm -hmm. Proton. So the name of the scientific theory that explains that all matter consists of particles. That is the particle, particle model of matter. All right, that's it. Multiple choice and terminology um, in preparation for exams. Please like the video, guys. Share it with your classmates and your schoolmates. Please also comment down below and let me know how many answers you got correct in both the multiple choice and the terminology. And watch out um, the next videos whereby I answer short and long questions from section B. All the best.